ABC6 News at Noon on your side. Right now, a new group of electric crews from Ohio are traveling to help fix massive problems down south. ABC6's Mike McCarthy explains exactly where they're going and for how long. Right now, trucks just like these, along with workers from Consolidated Electric Cooperative, are headed down to Georgia. In fact, they're going to one of the areas hit hardest by power outages after what was Hurricane Irma. What started as an early morning was expected to lead to a series of late nights. I've worked here for about 30 years and done, this will be my eighth hurricane. Bill Poling was among four workers who left Delaware County destined for the Atlanta area, where hundreds of thousands of people remained without power. And they'll be going down there, setting poles, putting wire back up in the air, restoring power, whatever, whatever it takes. Roughly 70 workers from Ohio Electric Cooperatives were headed south, but this crew took more than their traditional tools. That trailer, they say, has supplies for hurricane relief efforts. And Bill Poling was relieved. A home he owns seemed spared. It, it, it survived. It. It's in Orlando. Uh, we lost a few trees, but other than that, uh, it did real well. But no power there power either. Forward. No. And no chance he can by. check it. No, it's a little too far. I wish the company would okay it, but <laughs> it'd be a free trip. <laughs> His family has gotten used to the sacrifices that come with this work because Bill Poling says they know why he does it. Once you see the people's faces when their power comes back on, it just says it all. It's well worth it. These workers anticipated arriving in Georgia by late tonight, and they think they could be down in the Atlanta area for as long as 10 days. In Delaware County, Mike McCarthy, ABC 6 News.